Get out your calculators and get ready for this unit. It's a look at pH, the hydrogen ion concentration, and something called the ion product for water. Let's begin with the look at the hydrogen ion concentration in pH. pH is really but a way to express the concentration of hydrogen ions, but in a simpler language. To go from hydrogen ion to pH, let's take a look at how we do that. So if one is given the pH, and you want to express that as the concentration of hydrogen ions to go from here to here, one simply goes 10 to the negative of whatever the pH happens to be. Vice versa, to go from here to here, the hydrogen ion concentration to pH, one takes the negative log of the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Now it's worth mentioning at this point, we can either refer to hydrogen ions or the hydronium ion, which is but a water molecule with a proton added to it. So if I have this as 0 .001, 0 0.01, that's the same as take it to the negative two. The negative log of this would simply be the negative of negative two, which would give us a pH of two. This is the same as 10 to the minus 5. And the negative log of that would be simply 5. So you can see it's really an abbreviation. So instead of having to write perhaps all this, all I need to do is write this. Now for more complicated numbers like this, we're going to probably have to pull out the calculator. If you take the log of this particular number, you get that this is the same as 10 to the negative 5.35. The negative of this then gives us the pH, which is 5.35. So that's how we can move from a hydrogen ion concentration to a pH. Going the other way, all I need to do is take pH and raise it um, as the power or exponent of 10. So this would become 10 to the minus one. This would become 10 to the minus three. And this would become 10 to the minus 8.5. And if you wished, you could then turn that into a number using your calculator. It's the same as 3.1 times 10 to the minus nine. So that gives us an idea of how these two variables are related. I now want to add to the picture, how can we determine what the concentration of the base particle is, or the hydroxide ion in a solution? For that, we need to consider equilibrium. In any solution that contains water, we have the following equilibrium taking place. We can either view it as simply a water molecule, so we can view it as simply one water molecule breaking apart into ions, or two water molecules colliding, producing the hydrogen ion, hydronium ion, and the hydroxide ion. For simplicity, I'm just going to consider this reaction right here. The equilibrium constant for this reaction, K, would be the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of OH ion divided by the concentration of water. Now, the concentration of water itself is a constant, meaning it doesn't change. So I can blend that constant together with the equilibrium constant. And that then gives me Kc times the concentration of H2O is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the OH ion. This constant, so I have one constant times another when put together, they form what we call the ion product for water, sometimes referred to as Kw. And this equals 10 to the minus 14, 
And like all equilibrium constants, it's true it only has specific temperature, in this case, 25 degrees C. If I change the temperature, I change the value of that constant. Now, we can use this relationship up here to determine these concentrations. So if I have a hydrogen ion concentration, and I wish to figure out the concentration of hydroxide, I take the ion product for water, and I divide it by the concentration of the hydrogen ion. So for instance, up here, this is the concentration of H+. If I would like to know what the concentration is of the OH minus ion, I take 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10 to the minus 2, meaning I just need to subtract those exponents. So it would look like this, 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10 to the minus 2. Our rule is to subtract exponents. This then becomes 10 to the minus 12. If I have the hydroxide concentration and I wish to determine the concentration of the hydrogen ion, again, they're linked together through the use of the ion product. So I simply need to take 10 to the minus 14 and divide it by the concentration of the OH ion. So the use of the ion constant allows us to move from these concentrations, the base particle, to the acid particle. Let's look at this in a more depth calculation. So I want to determine the concentration of the two ions and pH of a solution made by mixing two grams of sodium hydroxide in water. So let's begin the problem by finding the concentration of NaOH. Now you might recall that concentration is the number of moles over the volume. Number of moles is mass divided by molar mass, and I still have the volume on the bottom. So using the values I've got here, I've got two grams. The molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40.01, and the volume of my solution, 250 cubic centimeters, which I'll put right away into decimeters cubed or liters So this then gives me the, the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution is 0 0.20 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, when sodium hydroxide dissolves, let's take a look at it, NaOH. So when we put that into water, it breaks apart into sodium ions and OH ions. So if the concentration or the amount of this substance as I view it is 0 0.02 of this, when it all dissolves, I'll have 0 0.20 of sodium and 0 0.20 moles per decimeter cubed of the hydroxide ion. Remember, that's all I need to determine the concentration of the H plus ion, because I know 10 to the minus 14 divided by the concentration of the hydroxide, that's going to give me the concentration of my acid particle. And that works out to 5 times 10 to the minus 14 moles per decimeter cubed. If I take the negative log of that number, that will then give me the pH. So the pH of this solution comes out to be 13.3, which happens to be well above 7. Therefore, I know that this solution is going to be basic. Now there is another way I can determine that this solution is basic, and that's by quickly examining these uh, two numbers. My concentration of my base particle 
comparing it to the concentration of my acid particle. And here I can see that the OH ion is significantly bigger than the H plus ion, which leads me to the same solution, that this is a basic solution. So I can get it by either comparing the concentrations of the ions or by examining the pH. Now, word about pH, though, remember that uh, that value, 10 to the minus 14, is temperature dependent, and all of these make an assumption that you're at 25 degrees Celsius. In our next program, we'll take a look at the comparison between strong and weak acids and bases. Thanks for watching.